Dear students, this is Mr. Mir Sina, Assistant Professor of Economics. In continuation of my last video class on Monopoly Market, in this video I am going to discuss about some of the peculiarities which are present under Monopoly Market. One of them is the absence of supply curve under Monopoly Market. We know that supply curve is a curve which shows the relationship between the price and quantity of a commodity, quantity supplied of a commodity. Depending on that relation between the two variables, price and quantity supplied, will construct a supply curve. So to construct a supply curve, you have to trace out the relation between the two variables. For instance, in case of this law of supply, when price increases, quantity supplied increases, and when price decreases, quantity supplied of the commodity decreases. As a result, the relation between the two variables are traced out as direct. And depending on that, the when you construct the supply curve, the supply curve which slopes upward rising, which shows the slope of upward rising. But under monopoly market, it is not possible because the monopoly seller is the sole seller who has the authority, who has the right to determine the, determine the price of its commodity and also decides its level of output supplied into the market. As a result, he decides its level of output not only depending on the marginal cost of the commodity but also on the elasticities of demand present in different markets of its commodity. We know that the mono depending on elasticities of demand, monopoly seller is charging different prices from different buyers for the same level of output in different in case of different markets depending on difference in elasticities of demand. That is called to be an unique condition of price discrimination under monopoly. That is the reason in monopoly market it becomes impossible to trace out or to establish one to one relation between the um, price and quantities which was possible or which is possible under perfect competition market that is the reason under monopoly market there is absence of supply curve or we may say no unique supply curve under monopoly market or construction of supply curve is impossible under monopoly market. Not only in monopoly, it is impossible in all other imperfect competition market also except perfect competition market because in perfect competition market competitive firm or seller or producer has no influence over the price. He has to sell a sell its commodities at a given or fixed price. That is the reason one to one correspondence between price and quantity or series of price and quantities relation can be traced out and accordingly supply curve construction of supply curve becomes possible under competitive market, the perfect competition market. Now the Absence of supply curve under monopoly has some possibilities, has mainly two possibilities. One is called given the same MC, same output is supplied at different prices. That means the monopoly seller is charging different prices but at the same marginal cost. At the same margin, neither price marginal cost is increasing nor decreasing. At the fixed MC or a same MC, he is charging different prices for the same level of output to different buyers. In another case, that is, at a given price, different output may be supplied depending on different in, difference in elasticities of demand in different markets. It is also possible when elasticity of demand are different, means for a particular price, he is selling different units of goods to different buyers. These possibilities may be shown, may be explained with the help of the diagram. In the in case of the first possibility, that is, different prices are charged for a particular level of output, that is, at a given level of output, monopoly seller is charging different prices.
to different buyers. It is a case of price discrimination and in other case for a given price he is selling different units, different level of output to different buyers. This is also a case of price discrimination which is a unique condition under monopoly market. Another peculiarity that is known as social cost of monopoly. Cost means sacrifice or means that the cost means losing something. The social cost means the society is suffering or losing something under in case of monopoly production. That is under monopoly. Monopoly seller or monopoly producer has restriction of some or restriction of its production or restriction of its output. As a result, monopoly seller misallocated his resources which caused loss of social welfare. How it is happens? When a product is produced and sold under conditions of monopoly, monopolist always gains at the expense of consumers. The reason behind that, monopoly seller is enjoying profit at the expense of consumers. It means consumers are paying higher price than the actual. That is, they have to pay higher price than the actual means it is marginal cost of the its production of the commodity. That means in perfect competition market, the price is always equal to marginal cost, but under monopoly, price is always higher than the marginal cost. That means it is more than the actual. It means the consumer is suffering or consumer is losing or consumer is paying higher amount. It means consumer is at the expense. This result in loss of consumer's welfare. It means whatever be the difference between the price and marginal cost is the loss of consumer's welfare in monetary terms. Thus, monopoly creates a social cost. Whatever loss is called to be the social cost or it's also called to be dead weight loss because the buyer or the consumer who are ready to pay the price which is equal to marginal cost but are not served. It means the section of that society that society or section of the consumers who are deprived from consumption of that commodities that it, that will minimize the social welfare at that volume what the monopoly seller didn't serve or didn't produce that may be measured with the help of consumer surplus, a concept developed by Professor Alfred Marshall to measure the gain or losses in the theory of consumer's behavior. Here also it is applicable to measure the welfare gain and loss under monopoly market. And that may be shown with the help of a diagram also. The diagram is imported from the Google Images. In the diagram, AR and MR curve are drawn. AR is equivalent to demand or price line because depending on this AR, we will determine the level of price and level of quantity demand. That is the reason it is also called to be a demand line. Now, what happens that the monopoly seller has the marginal cost which is equal to price under perfect competition. The marginal cost of the monopoly seller's production or monopoly production, monopoly market are rupees assumed to be rupees 2 at which the monopoly seller has the capacity to produce 4000 units of goods but he never produces it. He is charging always price higher than the marginal cost that is rupees 4. At rupees 4, he is producing 2000 units and supplying 2000 units into the market. It means the market has a demand of 4000 units, but he is producing less than the market demand, which is equal to 2000 units. The difference between the market demand and the market supply of the monopoly seller is got to be the dead weight loss of the society. This is called to be the social cost. This difference, this difference between the market demand and the market supply of the monopoly seller is called to be the deadweight loss in economics. Next, 
another peculiarity that is called to be natural monopoly. Normally we know that monopoly is a market which is emerged due to licensing system of the government or the control over on essential raw materials monopoly market emerges. But the natural monopoly is a market type which emerged due to economies of scale or you may say that the large scale production units. Because large scale production units has the capacity to produce larger and larger volume of goods and the volume of goods are so large that their average cost of production goes on falling and become and remains and reaches a level of minimum at a level of particular level of output which covers the entire market demand for a, by a single firm and also able to charge a lower price that is profitable then the situation of monopoly will emerge and that monopoly is called to be the natural monopoly. In that case, average total cost under such natural monopoly market or such conditions always remains downward sloping, never and it never increases, never rises, it never shows any rise. Normally we know that average cost curve is U shaped. In normal case, average cost curve is U saved, but in case of natural monopoly, it is always downward sloping, and it, such a situation will emerge when or will arise when the natural monopoly is due to the control of the government sector and on its efficiency ground, the average cost curve will be always down, remains downward sloping and never rising. William Baumol one of the renowned economists defines natural monopoly in a very beautiful manner one is that is an industry in which multi farm production is more costly means for a particular commodity um, more than one farm's production becomes more costly than production by a single farm that is the production by a monopoly farm single farm when more than one farms are going to produce that particular commodity it will become more costly. That is the reason natural monopoly is emerges. It may be shown with the help of a diagram to explain the meaning of Baumol's definition of natural monopoly. That is, suppose the industry demand is 10,000 units. The commodities demand is 10,000 units. And if a firm produces that 10,000 units, it will get the lowest possible average cost of rupees 9. If that market demand is produced by three firms collectively, then it will cost rupees 17. It is also imported from the Google image, so I am introducing using the same data. You may change the data also, students may change the data also. You may write rupees 17 in case of sterling. Therefore, the optimal number of firms in the industry will be one. That means in such case, it is better to produce by a single firm that is produced by a monopoly firm than to make it a competitive one. So examples of natural monopoly, we may take gas network, electricity services, railway services, airlines, services of airlines, these are the um, sectors or these are the um, services for which we require huge amount of cost expenditure which are not possible for a particular or individual firm or private sector firms. That is the reason. These are the services produced by the government and it is monopolized not due to licensing system but due to efficiency and investing capacity of the government. This is the basis of this is the basics of natural monopoly. That means natural monopoly is emerged only due to economies of scale. Economies of scale means advantages or we may say advantages, internal advantages or internal external advantages of the 
industry due to which the industry has the capacity to produce larger volume of goods at a lower cost and sell at a lower price compared to other firms and the natural monopoly will emerge. Next peculiarity that is price distribution which already we have already discussed the conditions possible when conditions of price discrimination is possible when there is some degree of market imperfections remains means when goods couldn't be um, resale from one market to another market and demand in the separate markets are different with respect to its elasticity then only price discrimination is possible and profitable if there is a case of price discrimination that is known as dumping is an international price discrimination when the producer is selling or the, when the exporter is selling is selling a portion of its output into foreign market at a very low price compared to the domestic market the remaining output at a high price in the home market he is selling its remaining output at a very high price in the home market then it is called to be the situation of dumping in international price discrimination however defines it in a similar manner binary is also defines it in a similar manner thank you